what you're going to need is something to wipe down the bench to start off with to get all the dust off so the adhesive sticks down 10 times better. Get the grey marble waterproof vinyl self-adhesive contact paper that I got off AliExpress. I ordered two rolls and it came just, you know, all in one roll. It feels really thick and just like really good quality. I'm really happy with it. So get a card of some sort and a pair of scissors because you're going to be needing the card to smooth out any bubbles that you may get doing this. Now, it's not as easy as it looks and I do show you... I struggle quite a bit doing this it's quite fiddly work but man it pays off so you want to roll out the length that you think you're going to need and then roll out a wee bit more for the overhang type thing like you don't want to cut yourself short you'd rather have more than less sealing school books it has a sticky layer underneath and you want to separate it this is the tricky part for me because it gets all kinds of sticky it sticks to everything it wants to stick to and you've got to be really in control of the situation so I tried just peeling a corner and then going from there but that did not work I end up just ripping the whole adhesive off basically and going from there. Peel it right back and go from there. Stick it down. Try your best to get as many air bubbles as you can at the time. Like you want to make it as even as possible but that's when the card comes in handy because you can smooth out all the air bubbles so I wrap it round the disc make sure it's really stuck under there and it's not going to flick back up get my card basically just go from here I found this the easiest method was to go along bit by bit and smooth it out as you can see here, there's quite a bit of bubbles and wrinkles and things like that, but the card works a treat. see there I just pull it back a little bit and then smooth it out and then I basically just repeat that method until your strip is stuck on there Like, it looks so much better already, and it's $20 compared to buying a whole new desk. I don't know why I hadn't thought of this sooner, why I'd only just found about it recently, but I'm sharing with you guys so that you can enjoy the benefits of this contact paper. I also did our dishwasher, a silver adhesive, because we had a white dishwasher, so I got the silver metallic looking adhesive, and I did the dishwasher up to look like a silver one, so it matched our kitchen a wee bit better, but it's a bloody... God send. And then I was like, oh, should I turn it around and try and like, you know, line up the marble bits? But it was kind of impossible. It would have taken far too long and I am a, a rusher. <laughs> so I did just try and match it up as best as I could. But I still ended up with a gap, but that's okay. I'll show you how I fix that later on. I like to get things done now or yesterday, preferably. So basically you're repeating what you did just before. It's pretty self-explanatory. But once again, just trying to get it as even as possible the first time round because, I mean, the more you fiddle with it, the more it is going to end up looking a bit worn out, haggard type thing. So make sure you get it right the first time round, if you can. 
I must admit it's not that hard. The hardest thing about it is getting it smack on, like even, straight type thing. I got a rather big air bubble here, so I just lifted it back up and pushed the air bubble out towards the end. The smoother the better, obviously. You want it to look like an actual marble desk. Right, so I cut little slits to, because it is a curved desk, I cut little slits around so it goes down a bit more flawlessly. This bit did end up flicking back up because it was such a short little piece, so I did end up sellotaping it underneath. So you can't see, but that's a little hack for you guys. Here, I have obviously, it hasn't gone on straight, but I get little bits and fix it up, so don't fret. It's totally fixable. So as I show you here, I cut the piece to shape type thing and I just patch it up. You can't tell from far away. I can tell because I know it's there, but you cannot tell from far away that I've done this. I guess with just a straight desk, it'd be 10 times easier, but the curved one is probably a yeah, difficulty level 10. See, so I struggle here. But that's just to show you that everyone struggles. No one's a professional. So here I was like, shit, what do I do with this part? I just cut another piece to fit sort of thing and it worked really well. So if you want to go ahead and do this as well, then you can. Because I didn't want the edge to show, so I just like, oh, bugger it. I'll try and fix it up. So I found the best way was once again to cut slits and then fold them under so that it goes with the curvature of the desk. Not just a pretty face going. <laughs> so here we go. Obviously you can be way more pedantic if you want to be, but I like to get things done. I also then just painted the base of the table and yeah added some decor so i hope you enjoyed this video guys make sure to give it a thumbs up, a thumbs up and a subscribe and i will see you all next week okay bye